All right, good morning, beautiful people. We are heading over to give you the kind of rundown of what our new puppies day-to-day -day looks like. So we start obviously with a morning feeding. So Allie, how old are they now? They're four weeks old um, and we're heading over to our whelping room. Michael didn't tell me that we were filming anything. So she put so. her best outfit on. I'm not looking the brightest. Uh, but today they've kind of uh, started exploring the outside a little bit more. Um, but we're going to make it a little bit more challenging for them to find their food today. So I am actually just going so straight out from their bunkie. We're going to go right and help that they can investigate and try to use that nose and find their kibble. So I'm going to lay it out. I'm going to spread it out a little bit. And what is, uh, why does your kibble look like that, Allie? Oh, it's completely soaked. Uh, not to the point that it doesn't have texture anymore, and uh, it's not mush, um, but they're at the stage now where they do have pretty sharp teeth, but they gobble it down really quickly, so it's nice to have something that you're not worried that they're going to choke. Blues first. So usually what they do when they come out, like you saw there, is they come out, they potty. Um, first things that we've already established some cues with them, so they hear us at that door and they start barking. Um, it's an anticipatory bark for feeding time. Um, also just interactions with us. So we try and build these pretty quickly, uh, quick responses. Um, there's two food pails out, so these two ranged out the furthest. Um, the rest of them just found the close one. Um, but it's their first time being fed in this location as well. So at this point in the morning, what we're also doing is monitoring what that poop looks like. So we're making sure we're doing all of our health checks, making sure the dogs are, are looking healthy, um, their attitudes seem right, uh, and that they're having a good, healthy appetite for eating. Then our next step while the puppies are out here and kind of exploring, getting some energy out, is to go in and uh, give a deep clean to their whelping area. Holy moly. That hurts. That hurts. You're done. You're done. You All right, so we're here. Here's our uh, little whelping area. Allie's just cleaning up now. We got a bed upstairs, some cameras. Ow, my feet are getting chewed on. <laughs> ow, ow, this bastard. Ow. All right, so I just went up, cleaned the gates, left to do their toys back up, and then grab their puppy pad or their pee pad or whatever you want to call it. Um, Kind of like their area where they go to the bathroom but you can see sorry for the gross image um they're doing pretty well with it so we're really happy it helps our mornings tremendously to have poop and pee everywhere um and for those that are asking oh are you gonna pee pad them no we're just teaching them that pottying in a designated area is better than just peeing and pooping everywhere and anywhere so yeah, dirty dogs are gross it helps with that transition to crating. Um, and like, which is nice is that when they go out in the morning, we're starting to see them go like right away. So um, this is really cool. It's called Smart Paws. We got it off of Amazon. And the reason I got this one is that Malinois, if you just put a puppy pad down, it's just destroyed. Whether the mom's gonna destroy it or they're gonna destroy it. So it hides the pad and then you just hose it down, keep it nice and clean. So yeah. After that, we'll put mats down and put a fresh pad in and a few other toys that um, just kind of go on the ground and they'll go back in. We'll turn the music up and that's our morning routine. All right, so they're in here now. Oh, 
That's the morning for us. Oh, Lord. There they go. All right, Mama Bear is back there. You can see her kind of through the green screen. Um, we're wrapped up now, so to finish, we grab their kibble for lunch. Um, Allie's grabbing the laundry. We'll head over, do laundry, start soaking their kibble for lunch now. Um, and that's about it. Mom is still um, feeding them every now and then, right, Allie? <laughs> yeah, so Mom has access to them all night. And then throughout the day, um, a little bit after lunch, they'll go for like a run together. Uh, and then they'll go into her play yard that she has that eventually will be just their play yard. And then they'll also see her around dinner time as well. So they get about two to three feedings throughout the day and then next to her all night. Um, Harriet is very involved and she would not like it if she wasn't. Yeah. So that's that. We're going to wrap this video there. Um, let us know if you would like to see their play yard next. Yeah.